it's not that you don't get emotional. Men get emotional. Men just don't allow themselves to be ruled by their emotions in the same way that a woman is allowed to. Women have a certain grace in that regard. Men don't. But it's not something that comes natural to us. It's something that we must be taught and we must practice because otherwise we'd all be women. And so it's okay that you're feeling emotions. It's not okay that you're lashing out and that you're blowing up and that you're being impatient or mean to people. And so the best thing that you could do is to be silent in those moments. The best thing you could do is to literally walk away. The worst thing that you could do is to react. Stephen Covey has this great saying, probably one of the only lines I remember from Stephen Covey, even though he's a best-selling author in business. He says, between stimulus and response, there's a space, and in that space is where your life will be created. You have to create that gap. You have to keep that gap between what happens and what you do about it. And if you don't know what to do about it, or if you can't help yourself but to respond angrily, you have to walk away. It's better that you walk away. It's better that you don't say anything. I, you know, and I get it because I'm the same way. It, it's natural. Y'all listen to me because I'm spontaneous. I don't think before I talk. I just do shit. My whole life is just that way. I just do shit. I had to learn this the hard way and I still have to learn it. But every bad decision I have ever made was because I didn't think it through before I did something about it. You got to stop and you got to think. And you know this... I never understood this too because we grow up again in a gynocentric world where they teach us to behave like women. And so the first thing they do when you're a kid, they tell you, oh, you should express your feelings. They tell little boys, oh, it's okay to cry. Do you think that it's a mistake? Just think about it this way because, you know, they call it progress, but shit just gets worse. This is not progressive. This is regressive. But they call it progress because, you know, a few generations ago, if a boy was crying, even his mama would say, stop crying and being a little girl. Like no, nobody accepted boys crying and nobody damn sure accepted a man crying. Nobody wants to see a man cry even today. But, you know, more and more men have, have been told it's OK to cry. You should be emotional. You could do those things on your own. You could do those things in your bedroom with the door closed. But nobody wants to see a crying man. Nobody wants to see an emotional man. Nobody respects an emotional man. Whether you like it or not, people could say, oh, that's not fair. It shouldn't be that way, but it doesn't matter. This is the way it is. And listen, we want to, as men, we want to fix things too. And so it's kind of like a weird, it's a weird balance. We want to fix problems right away. That's what men want to do. We see a problem, we want to fix it. Right? That's why, like, you know, and women don't want us to fix their problems. They just want to talk about their problems. They have no interest in fixing their problems. But men, we're fixers. And if we can't fix it, we get frustrated. But it's a part of the reason why you, 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 you tend to react rather than respond. So take your time. <clears throat> My whole point here is, look, do the breathing exercises. Keep praying for patience. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Those are all doings. Keep doing, but one thing you don't do is react. Stop reacting, create space, walk away. And that's practice. You gotta practice that because it's emotional. If you think you're just gonna feel like doing that, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm just gonna do that and it's gonna feel easy. You gotta understand you're, you're, you're trying to tame a beast. You have an inner beast. You have an animal on the inside, a totally irrational animal. You gotta put that animal on a leash. The animal don't like to be on a leash. My dog don't like when I put him on a leash. But if I don't put my dog on a leash, he's gonna run the show. Take a deep breath and walk away and you'll be all right, dude, done. Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol. 
or drug use? Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.